Unfortunately, the social stigma around mental health among high school students still exists. Now take the case of Thomas Levy. Thomas had it all, strikingly good looks, the most likely to succeed, the most likely to be famous, and athletic physique, all benefiting of a homecoming king. But Thomas suffered from depression in silence and not being able to relay how he felt to others, Thomas attempted suicide. Thomas Levy is now on a mission to help others who are suffering from the symptoms of depression. I was the homecoming king, I was the class clown, I was most likely to be famous, I was a professional model, and most importantly, I was incredibly suicidal. I had a, a, a particular instance when I was 13 years old where I went to my health teacher, she, she gave me a journal and said, you know, write whatever you want in that journal and I'll, I'll write back to you and tell you exactly how I feel and you know, we'll have like that open line of communication. So what I did was I wrote in it, I said I'm a very happy guy because I was always the class clown and all that kind of thing. And when I wrote that in there, what I did was I said, you know, I'm an incredibly happy guy, but I do have incredible sadness and I get very sad at certain times and things like that, which was my first cry for help really. And she just wrote back in the book when I got it back, she just said, uh, you seem like a very happy guy to me, so I think you need to reevaluate how you feel. when I was 17 years old after those four years of suffering uh, after you know being rejected by my teacher what I did was I came out to them and I said you know like something's not right and that is the most important thing and they did everything to help me permanent fix is the effort that you put in. And it's, I call it the open hand syndrome. I had an open hand waiting for a pill to make me feel better, but you gotta take control of your life, I feel, and kinda close your hand and say, I'm going to fix this, whether it be through a doctor's help, whether it be through therapy, whether it be through both, or even just talking to your friends. So that's exactly what I did, and I, I, couldn't, I wouldn't be here today if I didn't. I know for a fact that if I were to be that silent sufferer, I'd be gone long ago, but it's a process and everything, and I still bring this up to my parents, I bring it up to, I have my two best friends that I rely on as my support group, I call them my wolf pack, and uh, we kind of, we fight it together. I want to give this message of don't fight it alone, fight it with someone. And it's, it helps me. It's part of my recovery. It's part of how I feel whole and how I can please myself while trying to help others. So what I'm really saying is this is for me. I had to please myself in order to figure out how I could be happy for the rest of my life. And whether it be something that you thought, I thought, in the past it would be so nerdy to create a an electric bicycle i love it i made myself an electric bicycle because it's something that gives me joy and whether you need to discover if you have something inside that is going to give you joy and something that you could do from within rather than having somebody else give you that joy you can create it yourself Thomas Levy just recently left his job to pursue what he calls his life's mission in helping others. You can reach him on his website listed here below. Thomas, on a mission to help those who are experiencing depression and to look ahead.